hello friends welcome to ua infotech channel last class we had discussed about the grid system okay and let me continue with this grid system here okay let me share my visual studio code create a new file now i can save the file with uh, uh, grid2.html now i can save this file with the shortcut okay Okay, now you can give a title there. A grid two dot grid example. Grid example. Now I'll set some link here. CSS uh, bootstrap dot mean dot CSS file. Okay, bootstrap dot mean dot CSS. This is a BS uh, file link. Okay, now let me take your one container. Okay, inside I'm taking your and a row. Okay, now uh, I need to set here two unequal columns. Two unequal columns. Two unequal columns. For creating two unequal columns, I'm trying to here call Excel five. So this is a call Excel file. Let's make it one more copy and make it to call Excel seven, seven. Okay. Now we have some typographies, classes. Let me use some classes. I'm trying to give some CSS is using the classes. We have a contextual classes is there. Okay, in another chapter, we will learn this contextual classes. And we have in contextual classes, we have some uh, background colors also there. So let me try with here, a BG success. Okay, this is one uh, contextual classes. Here also I'm just making to here BG warning. Okay, now, uh, I need make it a uh, text as a white color, okay? So here we have one more class is called text white. Okay, now let me run this one on the browser. Right click open in default browser. Look at there. I just created a grid system, two unequal columns. One is a five space and the one is a seven space here. Okay, so for this, um, I'm trying to apply some padding here. So we can use here uh, P5. So it's a padding file. So this is a class we have. Uh, nearly we have a three RP, three REM is here. Okay, P5 class contain three REM. That is nearly 48 pixels padding. Okay, let me go to this browser, Let's reload this page. Look at this, it just increase the inner space here. Okay, if you want to see this one, go to this inspect. Okay, and just click on this P5. So there we go, we have a padding three REM. One REM equal to 16 pixels, 16 into three, that is a 48 pixels, a padding queue. Okay, so this is a two unequal columns. Next thing, we can set a different view in grid system using mobile response. Okay, a grid response, creating a grid response, response of grid system. Response to grid system. Okay, we can set a different uh, different view in the different devices. Okay, so here I'm taking one more row. Okay, um, I'm taking here um, call Excel three. Okay, uh, and inside I'm taking here a custom view. Okay, I'm taking here a grade one. And I'm just 
copying this class name, Just copy this class name and take here an internal style sheet and make it to this custom view and setting here a min height 200 pixels and setting some font size okay 20 pixels and i'm setting some color for this white and make this uh, text as a sensed position okay again i'm taking here uh, again i'm taking a uh, uh, same class and Let's make it some background color. Okay, or dark blue. And just make it to this one. Okay, now go to this browse once. Let's reload this page. Okay, so now we created this grid one and make it to two more copies. Okay, just copy this. Uh, entire grid and just make it to three more copies and change to two this is a grid uh, three this is a grid four okay go to this browser let's reload this page now look at this in the large screen devices okay that is a uh, 1400 pixels it displays as a four equal parts now i'm just changing this one okay instead of three i'm just giving nine here okay and for the third also i'm just giving the nine I'm just giving some margin bottom for this margin bottom 10 pixels let me go to this browser just reload this page now oh, look at this okay now we have like tool spaces, right? So that uh, first it will take a nine plus three, 12. And second row, nine plus three, 12. So even though if you are creating a same agreed in single row, but it displays as a two unequal because uh, call nine here and three here. Okay, nine plus three, 12 spaces. Now in the same grid system, okay, in the same grid system, I need to display, okay, and two equal parts in the small devices. So here I'm just making a call is some six, and here also I'm just making the call as some six. And for this also I'm just making the call as some six. And here I'm just making the call as some six. Now go to this browser once, just reload this page. Nothing has changed here. Whenever you can reduce the screen size, okay? See, when I'm reducing the screen size here, it displays six, okay? And when you go to this small screen device, it displays as they call tool, okay? Now I'm just make it to here, okay? For small devices, I need to display, okay, uh, like two equal parts, okay, and one I'll just make it here. Um, just make it here. For small devices, I'm just making it to four. For extra small devices, I need to display two, okay. And here we go. We can uh, take your call six, okay. For us, um, I'm just make it to four and just make it to call six and make it to four so i'm just make it here call six i go to this just reload this pair. Look at this. Again, it will make two, two equal parts. Okay, when you increase the size, it takes your four equal parts. Okay, again, you can go back will like this. Okay, so like this, it will make your, okay, we can change this grid here.
okay instead of four i'm just making it three here in order to display four four grid we can make it here and now go to this browser still load this page see there's a four equal parts okay again you can increase this one it will make it to nine is to three Now, we make uh, one more, okay? So you can set here, we can set, uh, okay, order of grid system. Okay, order of grid system. Setting the order for the grid system. You can take your H2 and order for the grid. Okay. For setting up the order, I'm taking one row here. Okay. In top, we already applied this one, right? I'm just copying this one. Okay. Uh, we can make here. So this is a grid one. Grid one. So this is a grid two, grid two, okay, I'm just make it here, call, okay, call grid one, and trying to copy this, you can paste it here, okay, grid three and four, grid three, and four. Okay, here we use busy success, right? Just to make it big, busy danger. Busy. Primary. Okay, let me go to this browser once. And so go to this browser once, just reload this page. Okay, go to this and look at this here. So we have a grid one, grid two, grid three, and grid four is zero. I'm just changing the order. If you want to change the order, so we use a class is called order. Okay, I need to display this one and this order two and this one. You can write here on order three. Okay, this is an order four. Okay, let me go to this browser, the three of this page. Now look at this. Okay, you can change this order of a grid system. Okay, and next one. Okay, auto rows. Grid auto rows. How to create this auto rows? Simple, you can take here and row. Okay, and here we already taken this one, right? I'm trying to copy this. Okay, so you can take an entire row here. I'm just copying an entire row. We can paste it here. Okay, and for this grid auto rows, I'm just applying here call auto. Okay, call auto. I'm trying to remove this entire this. This one. I'm just doing this one. Okay, I'm trying to copy this. You can paste it here. This is a, a two, grid two. And this one also make it to two.
this is an extra div. I just removing this one. Okay. Uh, for grid auto rows, grid one, grid two, and uh, I'm taking three here. Yeah. Okay. Grid uh, this one is grid three. Okay. For custom div, let me make a comma. Custom div two, and I'm trying to apply some color for this. Custom div two. Background color. Blue violet. Uh, something like green. I can go to this browser. Let's reload this page. See, look at this. So if you apply this grid autos, so based upon this uh, browser, it shows here an auto. So instead of an auto, and uh, I'm just removing this one. Okay, now it in the middle, okay, grid two, which will act as an auto position. Okay, these two as a fixed position. Okay, and I'm trying to apply auto for this uh, grid one and grid three. Okay, and here instead of grid two, I'm just make some content here. Okay, I'm just inserting some content like uh, 10 votes. Now go to this browser, still load this page. Look at this. So it's set like this. Okay. So like this, this grid heart or rows will be work. Okay. And next thing. Okay. So next we can set up. Uh, next we can set up this uh, width for this grid system. For setting up this grid system, uh, okay. So set the width for the grid system. Let me copy this one now. Okay, I'm trying to copy this entire uh, grid. Okay, we can paste it here. I'm just make it up. setting uh, width for grid system. Okay, and I'm trying to remove this order here. Trying to remove this order. Trying to remove this order. Okay, so go to this uh, browser once, just reload this page. So go to this. Uh, we have a grid system here grid one, two, and three, and four. Now I'm setting some uh, width here. Okay, after this, uh, let me take one div. Okay, so here we can take one class and just write here on a width 100. Okay, width 100. Now go to this browser, still load this page, and look at this. So I can set some. A width for this uh, grid system. Okay, so like this, we can uh, apply uh, different types of uh, properties for the grid. Okay, you can apply uh, different types of uh, grid. Okay, and and also for the order, we just write order one and two, right? We can also apply instead of uh, order one numerical number, you can also apply like order first. Okay, you can write your on order second, like this. Second, okay, order, order three. And this one is on an order last. Okay, so let me go to this browser, let's reload this page. You can also set like this.